imagine a world where malaria gets even harder to control. That's the reality Africa faces due to climate change. Our planet is warming up and it's messing with the delicate balance between the malaria parasite Plasmodium, the mosquito that carries it Anopheles, and people's immunity. Africa shoulders a disproportionate share of the world's malaria burden. In 2022, a staggering 94% of all malaria cases, translating to 233 million infections, were in Africa, as were well 95% of all global malaria deaths. Here's the bad news. Warmer temperatures mean the parasite matures faster inside mosquitoes, shortening its life cycle by up to a third. This translates to more infectious mosquitoes and a surge in malaria cases even in previously malaria-free regions at higher altitudes. The problem doesn't stop there. Rain patterns are all messed up too. Floods create giant mosquito nurseries, while droughts force them to lay eggs in smaller hidden puddles, making it harder to get rid of them with traditional methods. The result? A potential explosion of malaria cases. A 2020 study published in Malaria Journal predicted an additional 75.9 million people in Africa could be exposed in year-round malaria transmission due to climate change. This could overwhelm already struggling healthcare systems and push families deeper into poverty. But it's not all doom and gloom. Early warning systems for extreme weather events and research into mosquito control methods that work even with the changing climate change are key. Therefore, African countries need to adapt to this new reality and strengthen their healthcare systems by acknowledging climate change's role in malaria's resurgence and implementing innovative solutions, a healthier future for Africa can be created to win the fight against this preventable disease.